for uh, taking the time and congrats on your new uh, contract with the team. And uh, we'll start the Q&A with the first question from Marco Demico. Marco, you're up. Hi there, Alex. Congratulations on the new contract. Uh, do you hear me well? Yeah, I got you. Thank you. Um, so uh, just a two-part question. First, um, you know, obviously coming out of, of the NCAA ranks, you had a lot of momentum coming in, really solid rookie season. And then last year, a lot of injuries in Colorado. Could you kind of explain why things maybe didn't take a step up from what your rookie season was? Yeah, um, you know, obviously, I, you know, came in my second year, you know, with a bit more experience and um, having after won a cup, I think, you know, my personal goals were to do a lot more than I did last year. Um, you know, I, I don't think I reached um, the goals or the potential that I, you know, could have last year. But um, like I said, a few injuries, um, not to put any excuses on it, but, um, you know, felt like there were times that, you know, I maybe could have got a bit more opportunity and, and definitely could have done better with the opportunity I was given at times. But, um, yeah, for whatever reason, you know, didn't uh, didn't have as good of a year as I wanted to. But, um Happy to be with a new start, fresh start, and and uh, you know try to tap into that to that potential. And so, with that said, you know what are your goals this season? What do you feel like you can bring to the team this season, and how do you feel you can improve upon what you've done? Yeah, um, you know I, I think there's a lot of possibility. Um, you know I think uh, I can bring a lot of speed to this team, um, a lot of speed and skill. Uh, I know you know I know we're a young team and. Um, I think, you know, even though I'm a younger player, I think, you know, having been through a cup run and having won already, I think I can bring some of that experience to the team and, um, personal goal is just, just want to come in and, and, um, uh, you know, be able to play and, and, uh, you know, kind of come in with, with a different opportunity and, um, try to make the most of it from the start and, and kind of carry that on throughout the year and, um, try to make this team better, try and get this team to where we want to be, um, in the next few years and, um, that's really it for for my goals this year. And I guess last quick one. Uh, in terms of preference, do you do you prefer to play center or is wing center not a problem for you? Yeah, I've kind of played both throughout my career. Um, mostly played center. I'm probably more comfortable playing the playing the middle, but um, can play either, and, and it's not really uh, not a huge deal either way. All right. Thanks, well, thank Marco. you so much, Alex. Thank you. Thanks, Marco. We'll go with Stu Cowan. I'm just wondering um, what your initial initial reaction was to the trade, and maybe if you can talk just a little bit also about your relationship with Kent Hughes. Yeah, um, it's definitely a lot of emotions. Um, you know, obviously an emotional day when you get traded, and um, you know, having been the first team I've I've been with um, in the league in, in Colorado, and um, obviously getting close to a lot of the guys there, and having gone through a Stanley Cup run with them, and uh, it was definitely emotional being moved, but um at the same time it was a lot of excitement um you know obviously coming to a younger team and uh, i think with a bit more opportunity than 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 what was in colorado um it's an exciting exciting opportunity for me exciting place to be and be in a great city with you know close to home and um in a great market i'm i'm really looking forward to it and um yeah my relationship with kent is as uh has been good he, he was a part of my agency um before taking the job in Montreal, he wasn't my direct agent, but um, he was a part of it. I uh, I played with his son uh, in junior, so um, kind of have that connection there. But um, yeah, I think I think he believes in me, and um, it, it's great to you know have someone that believes in you and, and bring you in and and uh, want to have you be a part of the team. And um, so I, you know I obviously uh, appreciate that, and um, really looking forward to you know just getting in and, and start playing. Also, I know in Newfoundland, there's a lot of Canadians and or Leaf fans uh, there. I'm just wondering, what was the reaction from your family? And maybe, uh, you know, were they Canadians fans or Leaf fans when you were growing up? Yeah, yeah. My, uh, fortunately, my family is neither. So that uh, that helped out. But, um, yeah, it was funny. When I, when I got traded, um, I was at home and I was actually leaving to come back to Boston um, the next day and figured it was probably a good thing because – half of the province would be probably loving me right now and half of them are probably hating me. So um, get, get out while, uh, while I could during that, that split. I'm sure the province is uh, fighting over a little bit right now. 
if I squeeze in just one last one, um, have you been able to talk with Marty St. Louis um, since the deal? And if so, what did he say? And like, how do you think he'll be able to help you from what you've seen, what he's done with younger players in Montreal so far? Yeah, I have talked with him a little bit um, right after getting traded. I talked to him and um, yeah, it was, it was great. I mean, you know, I think everyone there loves him. I think, you know, people see what, what he's done with younger guys that have come in and, um, you know, been able to play. And, and I think it looks like, you know, a lot of them get to play freely and, um, you know, having be a guy like that, that's gone through so much in his career as a player too. And, um, to come in and has, and have, you know, some success already as a coach is, it's very exciting for me. I can't wait to play under him and, and, uh, I'm sure I can learn a lot in, in a short amount of time. Yeah, hi, Alex. Uh, welcome to Montreal. Just to follow up on this, when you when you talked about uh, about Martin Saint Louis, uh, I, I I know you know a few guys who who are on the team right now who have played under under Martin. Uh, what have they told you about his approach and his coaching and how that can uh, help you uh, develop? Yeah, yeah. I think uh, you know I'm close to a few of the guys already, which is which is great, and and be able to pick their brains a little bit about about the team, about the group, and and uh, you know obviously coaching as well. And um, everyone there has, has said nothing but good things about Marty, and um, you know I think a lot of them, uh, you know the the offensive guys anyway, and I think a lot of them, um, you know, praise just being able to kind of play in the offensive zone and and uh, you know encourage encourage to make plays and and uh, you know be kind of be able to, you know, be creative and, and, and those kind of things, I think is, is great for my game. And um, I think it's, it's great for any team when, when you're able to kind of, you know, be trusted offensively. And uh, I think Marty kind of brings that as, as well as being a great, um, you know, coach and hands on and, and being able to, um, you know, examine guys games and, and be able to know kind of where everyone sits, you know, being a player that's been through a lot himself. So um all good things, and and uh, I'm looking forward to to getting to work with them. All right. Uh, now, when when Kent Hughes discussed the trade, he referenced to Chandler Stevenson as the uh, as a guy who benefited the kind of move you're you're going through right now. I'm guessing he's also talked to you about it. What you know, what what do you keep from that, and you know, do you see that as a type of of uh, uh, blueprint for for what's coming for you? Yeah. Um, I actually, I actually didn't hear that, but, uh, but it does, it does make sense to me. And, um, you know, I think, um, like I said earlier, a guy that, you know, believes in me to, you know, to bring me in and, um, you know, want me to be a part of the team. I think he believes that, um, you know, I maybe was being underutilized or, you know, wasn't getting, um, some of the opportunity I may have deserved, um, previously. And, uh, I think, you know, like Stevenson, he was able to kind of come in and, and establish himself on a different group and, Obviously, he's turned out to be a great player in the NHL. And um, so, yeah, I, I think, you know, that's all exciting stuff to hear. Um, you know, I, I think that I think that I have a lot more to give than, than what I've shown in, in the past few years. And uh, I'm looking forward to taking that on and, and trying to take another step forward. All right. If I may just squeeze a last one re regarding your, your, as you say, your uh, time on ice that, that you had in Colorado, we, we see that the minutes were a little lower at the end of the season and in the playoffs. Uh, do you feel that was a result of your play or was that a result of the team adding some extra bodies uh, up front? Yeah, it's a, uh, it's a tough point. I mean, obviously I, you know, want to be playing in the playoffs and, and want to be able to, you know, be a contributor to a team, um, you know, when it's most important. And um, it's tough when you're playing six, seven minutes a night um, in the most important games. And um, I'm a competitor. I, I want to be in those situations. I want to be trusted to play in those situations. And um, that part was definitely frustrating for me. I'm not going to say it, it wasn't, uh, you know, some part of it probably, you know, had to do with my play, but, uh, at the same time, we did bring in some guys at the, at the deadline, which kind of pushed me down a little bit. And, um, you know, I thought before we brought some guys in, I was playing well and was getting trusted in some of those situations. We brought some older guys in, which, you know, obviously a lot of teams do when going into uh, playoff runs and uh, maybe maybe brought down my time a little bit. But, you know, I, I still think probably could have done a bit more with, with what I was given and, um, you know, not going to kind of push that on, on anyone else. But, um, yeah, I think definitely uh, – could have got a bit more opportunity and then could have done a bit better with, with what I was given. All right, thank you. Prochaine question, next question, Jean-Luc Legendre et Alexis Bélanger.
Hi, Alex. Thanks for the time. Uh, can you tell us about uh, the deal? I suppose that you are really pleased with uh, the money and uh, the time frame of the deal. Uh, did the negotiation begin right after the trade? Yeah, they, they kind of began, I think, after uh, after free agency. Um, so probably over the last week and a half. Um, and yeah, I'm happy with it. You know, obviously happy with the term. Um, You know, like I said, coming into a team and, and, you know, knowing that they want you to be there for, for four years at least is, is exciting. And, um, yeah, obviously, the, you know, the money is good to have some security in, and uh, come out of it at a good time. I think four years is great and um, gives me some time to grow and, and not be, you know, rushed into another deal and uh, be comfortable in, in a city, you know, for at least four. So it's, uh, it's really exciting. What do you want to build for yourself as a player during this time of contract over the, the next few, uh, four years? Yeah, um, you know, I, I think there's still a lot of room for me to grow in, in a lot of different areas. Um, you know, I think I've, I've been placed in, in different situations kind of throughout my career um, to this point. You know, I've, I've played on the kill. I've played power play. I've, you know, I've played up and down the lineup and Um, you know, I think I can be a guy that, that can play up the lineup that can, you know, bring a lot of speed and skill to a team and, and, uh, be able to produce and, uh, as well as being, you know, responsible defensively, we relied in, in, uh, in different situations like that. So, um, just kind of want to be a guy that's, uh, that can be relied upon, um, I think offensively and de defensively. And uh, I think that's, you know, what kind of player I can be, um, in the league and, and on this team and, um, excited to kind of try and start proving that. Thank you. Alexis Bélanger. Merci, Charles. Hi, Alex. Um, just to go back to some of the things you mentioned talking about Martin Saint-Louis earlier, do you feel that, uh, and maybe in the discussions you had with the, the players, you know, that having maybe a longer leash that you probably had in Colorado will help you uh, over the next few years establish yourself uh, more offensively? Yeah, I think so. I mean... You know, it's it's definitely nice hearing a coach um, that says he wants you to, you know, play your game, wants you to, you know, not be afraid to make mistakes and and uh, have that kind of approach. Um, you know, I think it's a little different being on a team that's, you know, at the top of their division all year and, and fighting for um, fighting to win conferences, you know, ever since I've been in Colorado. And I think the margin for error is a little smaller. But, um, yeah, I think having a bit more of that leash and, and that trust, I think, is, is a big thing as well. And, and I think that's something that, Um, that Marty has said that, you know, that they're going to try and steal on me as well. And, and I think that's the biggest thing is just having that trust kind of both ways. And um, like you said, I think uh, it's exciting to be able to come in and, and know that they want you to play your game and, and use, uh, use your assets. And uh, if I can just ask, what are your plans maybe over the next few weeks? I know some of the guys are already in Montreal uh, playing in the 3v3 league. Uh, what are you planning to come soon? Uh, what's the, uh, The next two months look like yeah um kind of uh, kind of a bit of a busy time obviously with uh you know the trade coming in and, and you know having a lot of stuff still in denver um i'm gonna head out to colorado for a little bit um over the next couple of weeks and then i'm gonna try to get into montreal just to um assess out the city obviously and and uh get comfortable with a couple guys but um i'd say i would i would be looking to come to montreal um you know for Or good until the season, probably late August, or early September. All right, thank you. We'll take questions from two more reporters. We'll go with Arpen Basu, and we'll finish with Rafael Doucet. Arpen, you're up. Hey, Alex. Um, wanted to just check a couple of things with you. I've been trying to watch a few of your games from last season with Colorado. I think there was a stretch where there were so many injuries that you were getting significant minutes, and and you know, the lineup was pretty much decimated. Did you feel during that time um, you were you were getting the opportunity you wanted, and 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 how do you feel that that stretch of the season kind of went for you? Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to trying to think back on it now. Um, yeah, I think that there were times during the year. I think even when even when guys were injured and, and our lineup was a little decimated, that I still kind of um, you know thought I deserved to get a bit bigger of a role um, during that time. I think that, um, you know, some of the games that maybe I didn't uh, fill that role as, as good as I could, but I think other games that, um, 
I fit in pretty well there and, and did well up the lineup and, you know, felt a lot better playing, you know, 17, 18 minutes a night and, and mm -hmm. felt that I was more involved in the game, felt that I had a, more of an impact. Um, but yeah, it was, it was, you know, sh there was definitely short spurts of it and, and then kind of being juggled around that way when, you know, you're playing a lot and then playing not a lot, it's, it can be challenging and, um, but definitely something I've learned from and um, definitely look to, you know, bring it with me. One thing, one thing I noticed, and I'd like you to correct me if I'm wrong, um, but your skill set seems to be well suited to a team that that likes to attack off the rush a lot, which Montreal does. I don't know how much you got to do that in Colorado, at least not from what I saw. Is it, was there a bit of a stylistic fit that maybe wasn't there that maybe could be here in Montreal? Yeah, I think so. I think you know, I think Montreal's style fits my game pretty well. Like like you said, playing off the rush. Um, you know, I'm a guy that likes to attack with speed, kind of in in every area of the game and. Um, I think, you know, being able to bring that speed to a, to a rush attacking team and, and a team that likes to play in transition, um, I think it's exciting. Yeah, I think it'll be good for me and, and it'll be good for the team to just kind of have another guy that can play off the rush and, and create offense. The last one, when you mentioned having that trust, um, I think I was watching one of your games in November and already they were mentioning how your coach said that they need more from you. Did you feel a certain amount of how did that make you feel this, this sort of this, this, this wanting, I guess, from your coach of, of more and, and not providing it? Was that, was that difficult mentally for you? And would a change of pace that way help you? Yeah, I think, well, I think at times, I think, uh, you know, I think a bit of it was, was probably, um, you know, rushed and, and, and fair, fairly so, um, you know, when, when you need, uh, when you need a team to be at, you know, the top of the division kind of all year, like I mentioned earlier, um, you know, they, they need guys to come in and be good right away and, and, you know, kind of have no grace period. And I think, you know, there's definitely a few games where I did have, you know, probably not the best of, you know, what I could have brought at times. Um, but I thought at other times uh, I was playing really well. So, uh, yeah, I think definitely finding that consistency was, is, uh, has been big for me and, and, uh, you know, something I'm, you know, definitely, um, I think it's it's coming with, with my game. And, and uh, I think, yeah, like you said, fresh start will be great for me. All right. Thank you. And the last question will go to Rafael Lucet. Hi, Alex. Thanks for your time. Um, you said early on that you had some friends or some connections on the team. Which one and why? Yeah, um, I uh, I grew up playing against uh, Justin Barron, and I went to school with his brother, me, and he played in Colorado, so as well as a few national teams. So me and Justin have been really close for a while. Um, I played with uh, Kirby um, for a couple different national teams, so I'm pretty close with him. And then I played with Gooley on the World Junior Team. Uh, I know Caulfield just through a couple mutual friends, um, and I've played against him kind of my whole life. Um, those are probably the, the closest guys on the team. And then, um, yeah, that, that's, that's really it for guys. I think that were there mostly last year. And what did they tell you about, told you about the city of Montreal, the market of Montreal, any advices? Yeah, they all, they all loved it. You know, they, they all said that they think I would have fit in really well with the group and, um, you know, it, it was all good things to hear from them. I think it's, uh, it should be a fun group, a fun group to play with, fun group to be around. Um, and it's it's been good to hear about that. I'm excited to get to know some of the guys. Thanks, Alex. Thank you. Merci, Raph. Alex, again, thank you so much for taking the time and uh, congrats on your contract. And thanks, everyone, for being with us this afternoon. Merci, Alex.